Second only to breathing, eating and drinking are essential for our survival. Most of us learn these skills naturally, and the only problem is trying not to eat too much. But for some children, eating does not come easy. Often originating from a medical problem, eating may be painful or uncomfortable, and the child refuses their parents' best efforts to feed them. When that starts to affect nutrition and growth, a feeding tube may be placed. Inserted here or here, the tube delivers liquid nutrition direct to the stomach. But it was never designed to solve the feeding problem, meaning the child may remain tube dependent longer than they medically require. A recent New Zealand survey estimated that at least 160 tube-fed children are capable of eating. What we know, behavioural interventions have the strongest research evidence in treating severe feeding problems, but research is rarely conducted in the home with whānau and little is known about the longer-term nutritional outcomes. My study aimed to address these gaps. Nine children participated. They were tube-fed for an average of four years. Most refused to eat all foods or even sit at the table. Many had disabilities. Some were not able to speak. I started out by asking families about situations where their child had eaten or even approached food. What kind of food? How much? How did you feed it? I then tested these situations to see if I could increase food acceptance. The results of this assessment were matched to a treatment for each child. I used data to inform progress. I trained caregivers to implement their child's plan and supported them frequently at mealtimes. What is new? Most children improve food consumption in assessment alone, with seven of nine going on to achieve their behavioural goals, eating a variety of foods across home and school. By the final follow-up, seven had reduced their tube feeds, five of whom were no longer tube fed. I then went further to evaluate whether caregivers and health professionals found the procedures of this study acceptable and the outcomes meaningful. High ratings were achieved across all areas. The home-based location was noted as a strength. Families highlighted the benefits extended beyond eating. It gave them increased confidence as parents to teach their child other skills. In sum, this study gives evidence that behavioural treatments in the home can improve long-standing feeding problems, that caregivers can in fact be the best therapists for their children, and it is meaningful. This is research for our people. Yeah.